I'm gonna give you guys very specific counts that you're gonna try to hit here. So right now your goal is to set up everything you need to be able to go to your on patch and build it. Okay, so let's go over what you need. You need 21 assemblers. So I'm gonna set up the assembler, assembler, half fill it. You need five splitters. Set up splitters, fill it. If you need, if you need green chips, just pull them off this bar that's insanely full of green chips. Fill the splitters. Uh, you need red arms to the tune of like 20-ish, 25 let's say. You need boxes, let's say 20 to 30 of those. So you're gonna fill a bunch with boxes. Power lines, if you still have a ton of wood, let that sit there and cook. Pick up everything out of these boxes. Pick up everything you can for gears, everything you can for chips, everything you can for pulls. Your inventory should be absolutely loaded. Again, the counts that you need to have right now. 21 assemblers, 25 red arms, 25 boxes, 5 or more splitters. Um, 30 drills, a thousand-ish coal, and a bunch of iron and copper plates. This inventory looks fine. You also need about, uh, 50 stone furnaces. But this inventory is perfectly fine. Now our goal is to bring iron to the base and set up the base. So we're going to delete the on-patch phase from our book. It is done permanently. So, we're going to go into our beginner book. So this is the book you will have. It'll look just like this. You're ready to start the main base. So let's pull the main base out, put it here. It'll take a second because it's very big. And you're gonna start with one dash one. So if your base is accidentally like here at one dash seven, you can hold shift and scroll your mouse wheel to move through the phases of the book. This base is going to go through your entire run. So in the map view, it's going to look like this, and this is typically how you're going to place the base. And all I'm doing is holding shift and scrolling my mouse wheel. If I do not hold shift, it zooms in and out. Hold shift, scroll the mouse wheel. It's going to go through every single thing you're going to build for the entire run. And it all starts with this 1-1 one, one print. Now, how do we place this correctly? But on the left side of the blueprint, you'll see a bunch of entities in a tall vertical stack right where I'm pointing. You can see some of them. That is an outline going through the front of the base. So this is what the base is going to look like as it gets built. So it starts with 1-1, 1-2, 1-3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then it moves on to 2-1, which is a new phase. And you can see it keeps adding pieces. So those little lines on the left-hand side are just visual indicators so that you can see where the base ends up. What you are trying to use as a visual marker, see these... Uh, vertical stack of green at the top of the blueprint that is just touching the lake right now. It's just touching the tip of the lake. Those are pipes that eventually connect to water. You can use those as a visual indication of roughly where to put your base. I'm going to put it here. Hold shift, left click is going to place the base. This is just a lane of iron. So we're going to start very simple and build a lane of iron. I have a book for drills. You can pull out your drill book, which again is in the beginner. Miners pre-bots, put it on your bar. You can scroll through it. It's got a two, it's got a one long, it's got a long with underground, and it's got a one wide. So I'm gonna put the one wide here. Okay, yeah, sorry, so strategies for building these. Uh, when you're building these drills, I usually start with uh, power poles first. Okay, so when building the drills, something I notice a lot of beginners happen is they'll do something like this. They'll be building their drills. And then, oh, they were standing in the way, and sometimes they're standing in the way, and oh no, they've built it one off. Very annoying. I personally always stand one tile underneath, so drag, underneath, drag, stay underneath your drills. Um, I think these are things every Factorial player probably kind of has a basic understanding of, but when you make a, a line of ore, 30 drills will fill this ore when you don't have any mining prod, 15 drills per side. So the blueprint is set up with 15 drills per side. Whatever you want to do, figure out how to make it 15 and 15. Uh, I've put a combinators here that are marked for what you need to put into the lane. So this is clearly marked with iron. You're going to push your iron in and delete that combinator. Done. Try to go exactly where the combinators are. Um, belt dragging. So I'm Q clicking belt. So I Q click, I drag to here. Now I need to turn. So I want the belt to go this way. If I hit R, it'll build in the direction of my mouse. Um, all right, building furnace stacks. I'll build this one very slowly. I'll build the next ones quickly. So do whatever works best for you. I like to build belt, furnaces, poles, then build all the inserters. Um, at the start of the stack, you need coal being inserted here. So you're going to put a 
whoops, a box where these two belts are. I go half coal in this one, half coal twice in this one. Put your inserters in, build your power, and we also have to drag power back to the base. There. What is the wire on the belts for? So that's a great question. So you'll notice the belts have logic on them. The logic should do nothing. It's literally doing nothing. But later on in the run, you are going to have to make some of these turn into red belts. And these wirings are a visual indicator of where that happens. So again, just if it whatever works best for you. Slowly is smooth and smooth is fast. So just straight line drags. If you try to get too quick, you'll find you do this a lot, and it's super frustrating. So, whatever speed you can maintain, let's just say you did do that, and now there's all this part of the blueprint removed. Just get the blueprint back out, restamp it in the same place. It's back. Done. So, again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Nice and slow, up and down. If this is what works for you, just get it all built smoothly, and then inserters. So again, whatever works for you. This little U-drag pattern is really nice to get good at. This is how you're going to want to build 99% of the inserters in the run, is this little U pattern. Super simple. Whoops. And then drag coal into all of these furnaces. Coal into the furnaces, coal into the furnaces. Oh, highlight the importance of hand-feeding furnaces. Yeah, so... You'll notice I hand-fed coal into some of these furnaces. It is extremely important to hand-feed coal into these because the inserters at the start will move very, very slowly. It'll take a long time for this to get started, so hand-feeding coal gets it started faster. Um, all right, priority is going to be left to right. So start this buffer, then we're going to ignore this top part just for now because we don't have any blue arms yet. Don't worry about that. Keep building left to right. So I'm not going to go down here yet because I haven't built this. Left to right. If you brought everything on the on the shopping list, you should have everything needed to build all of this first. Left to right. Notice, have whatever pattern you want. I did assemblers, then, then poles. If you do assemblers and then poles, you get some nice drags. Like, that is a nice drag. I didn't have to build anything. This is a nice drag. So, assemblers, then poles. Then you get a couple nice drags. Red arms. There. This is done. Again, we're ignoring blue arms. We don't have them yet. Um, all right. Now we need to fill this with copper. We've brought copper plates. Fill this with copper by hand because we don't have copper running yet. Now, normally, when you watch the blueprints that I play, the Doe plays, Anti plays, Nephrims plays, this whole section is going to look like a nightmare. There's going to be a thousand things on your screen. But with these blueprints, it's quite simple. There's very little on your screen. Just build exactly what you see, nothing more, nothing less. One thing is that this blue arm assembler needs to be started by hand because there's several blue inserters in this build. So get it started. While it's running, you can run wire if you want. Just do as many other things while you're waiting for that to go. Build all the boxes. Now, if you make a mistake, let's just say I accidentally went brrr and screwed things up. That's also removing a bunch of logic and I don't know where stuff goes and I'm panicking. Just get the blueprint out, restamp the blueprint and rebuild it. If you ever make a mistake on the blueprint and think, I don't know where something goes now, just restamp it. Again, take your time. Build all this one at a time. So all I'm doing right now, Q-click, left-click. Q-click, left-click. Q-click, left-click. I'm just spamming through these. It's actually two Q-clicks. Click to select, left-click. Now I want to deselect this, like so Q-click to deselect, Q-click to select. One at a time. If you don't, if you use default hotkeys, just very slowly go through these one at a time until everything is built. Do not get overwhelmed by the amount of things to build. Just build them all. Done. When this is done, you're going to have a ton of extra stuff in your inventory. All this junk. This box right here is feeding assemblers. Assemblers need plates, gears, and chips. So this box is specifically designed for plates, gears, and chips. This box is for stone furnaces. Let's say you have hundreds of stone furnaces like I do right now and you want to clear your inventory. Stone furnaces. Always keep one stack because you're going to go build another lane. You're going to need one stack. 
on your way out of here, you can pull the assemblers, pull the boxes, just empty all of these. Take everything you can out of here. Now we're going to build the blue arms. Unfortunately, I can't blueprint this part because you have to get this started. Just do a drag up and replace some of these yellows with blues. And then your iron buffer, blues instead of yellows, blues to output. Build this. Now your iron is running. If you have any copper left, feed it into here. This part of the run is done. Iron is finished and you can return to the patch now. Once you're back at the patch, you can go into the prints, go to map view, scroll down to one, two, and stamp. What you're looking for when you stamp is a majority of the stamp being blue and green. This is in the correct location. There'll be a couple red spots, don't worry about that. If it's like this, that's way out. If it's down here, way out. You want overlapping to be majority blue and green. Just like this, stamp it in. Now we've got our copper lane and our copper setup. So we're gonna come back to our patch, empty literally every single box. Just gut every box that's here. If you want to, you can pick up plates. You absolutely need coal. Make sure that you have about a thousand coal. At this pace, we won't get Golab at all. It, I might not, it's true. Uh, okay, grab 500 brick. Exactly 500 brick. You can put back the extra. At this phase, you want 500 exactly. You need at least 50 furnaces. I have hundreds. Uh, and now you're going to get a line of copper. So you're coming back here, you're shopping, you're basically emptying everything. You technically should restart these, but empty all of the stuff, restart the stuff, and go get copper. So get out your drill print, put this somewhere that's all copper. If you want to check that they're mixed, they are not. So again, power line, belt, and then drills the thing you might stand in the way of. So drills, move down, drills, move down, drills, move down, drills. Never stand in the way. All right, I'll do this one a little faster because you've seen an iron or you've seen a furnace lane get set up. So splitter, belt down, turn, belt up, turn. This is a little hard to see the direction of the belt with these readers on it. Make sure it's going the correct way. Inserter, inserter, whoops, box, box, half my coal, rest of my coal. If these are running out of coal, feel free to give them a little bit. All right, I'm gonna build this the way I normally build it in a run. So I do belt, furnace, furnace, belt, belt, furnace, furnace, belt. I like dragging the power poles horizontally like this. Poles, belt, 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 furnace, furnace. Horizontal pole drags, again, to me, way easier. And then on the way back, you can do your inserters. Whoops. I don't think there's any magic to teach here with furnace drags. It's just practice. Just find the best pattern for you and practice it and be comfortable with it. Whatever works for you. And now I can stuff coal. This is not a lot of coal. I should have a little more. But anyway, stuff coal into as many of them as you can. All right. We've finished building this. Notice how I'm running past this right now. First thing I want to do is if I had copper plates, I'd want to fill these with copper plates. Apparently I didn't bring any because I'm dumb. Uh, if you have the splitters, build this. Build the buffer. There. Copper is now being smelted. It's being put into here. This is all working. Now we need to build the rest of the mall here. So we're going to pick up every single thing you can in these boxes. Um, all right. We're going to build this part of the base now. So your uh, lab assembler here requires belt. You're going to go to this box right here and give it two stacks of belt. Put two stacks of belt in that box. You'll be fine. Now on this side of the print, there's a box right here. It's got five slots available and an inserter to nothing. That's what the brick is for. If you cannot find it, just go to the box all the way to the end. It has one stack. This one has five. So just work your way from the back until you get to the first box that has five open slots. That's what you're looking for. Again, no magic here. I'm just building the print. Build the print exactly as it exists. There's some nice clean drags here you can do. Like if you build the boxes first, you can drag the blue arms nicely. And then this one is going to take all of my furnaces, less one. This one is going to take all of my extra chips, gears, plates. 
You can also take some of these plates and put them in this buffer right here. If you find you have a ton of plates, this buffer is a good place for it. Copper is now done, and your mall is now finished that section. T, yes, so in your runs, you're probably gonna have green science done and have nothing to research. If you would like, you can research a few things that only require red. So literally pick any of them. Military, body armor. It almost doesn't matter. You're just trying to get green science now as fast as you can. Okay. 1-2 is done. We're going to stamp 1-3 now. Line it up so this is good. Shift, click, stamp. The next thing the base is requesting, it is marked with combinators. Coal goes here, iron goes here. So we're going to go get those two things, bring them back to the base. Clear out your base of belt, inserters, drills, pick everything up that you can. We'll start with coal. So let's come up here, find a place your blueprint fits. Now this stuff, you might find a pattern that works better for you, but that's the usual pattern I use. Um, you should have lots of undergrounds now to start making some good spaghetti, so don't worry about going through stuff. Just throw undergrounds around like they're garbage. Uh, a lot of the strategy right now is just picking what ore patches to use, so like, just use the closest ones you can. Don't worry too much about like, planning ahead when you first start doing a run. As you get faster and understand the goal more, you can start planning ahead and optimizing the patches that you use. So now we've got coal going in, iron going in. The goal now is to build this entire lane and get coal automated to these lanes because these boxes are probably all running out for you at this point. So build your splitter, uh, build your two inserters, run this belt uh, down and through here. Whoops, not like that. Uh, so I made a mistake. I'm gonna restamp the print and I'm just gonna build that by hand so I don't make that mistake again uh, For this top coal lane The easiest thing you can do is come up and delete 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 I left these belts in here specifically for this drag so now you can just drag down and it's done All right, we'll build this quickly Again, you will find whatever pattern works best for you. I'm trying to build them all a little differently. So again, the dough, she'll do up and down drags with power. I find that really hard to do, so I don't do it. By the way, you can use pay attention there if you have a specific question that I'm not answering. Okay, your coal's automated, your iron's automated. Okay, so now this section's a little intimidating. There's a lot to build here, there's an order here. What do you do? So for the most part, like everything else, it's just left to right. Get as many things started as you can and just push the blueprint from left to right. So assemblers down, power, arms, belt, done. Splitter, we're pushing the iron into the base. First thing we see is the ability to make green chips. So let's do that first. So assemblers, assembler, whoops, too far. Holes, holes. If at any time you run out of material, your mall is literally right next to you. You can go refill anytime you need to. So there, green chips are running. These green chips have to be pushed up this way. Again, every single thing you see can be built. We're gonna take everything out of our mall. Right now, we have a goal of these two boxes having what we need. We need 32 black arms, boom, great. 36 labs, boom, great. Those are numbers we want to see. Now we can take our excess junk and stuff it up here, which we've already done. Um, so this belt that I'm dragging here is going to bring iron up so that excess iron gets pushed up into your mall area and is not wasted. This inserter is not needed right now. It is just there for this drag. Do not be confused by the fact that this is doing nothing. It is just there for that clean drag. It'll be used later. There's no magic here. We're just building from left to right. So again, left to right. Get all the assemblers working. Inserters, belt drag, uh, poles. These poles are annoying to place. Place them one at a time. Do not try to do a drag. 
Just place all those poles one at a time. They do not drag cleanly, they suck. If your base is going in a different direction, left might be a different direction. Build the production first, and then the next stages of the production. Oop, boop, boop. Okay, that's all running. Now we're gonna build our science assemblers, science assemblers. Uh, we did just hit T, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to wait until I finish this. Oh, okay. Here's a good example. I made a mistake and I misplaced this pole. That sucks. It deleted one of my assemblers. Several ways to fix this. Undo until it comes back. Great. But the problem is if I undo something I meant to be there, it's gone. Again. When in doubt, delete everything and restamp. Perfect. It's all back. Great. Um, something you can do is if this is gone, you can copy and paste it back to get the uh, recipe back. Or if it's gone, you can just paste it and then shift click and put it back in. However, let's say that that building had modules in it. You cannot put that back in without a copy, without putting down the blueprint. So the safest thing you can do anytime you make a mistake of any kind in these blueprints that are confusing and you do not fully understand is to copy them in. Also, this box right here is for your wood. Any extra wood you have goes in that box to make poles. Okay. Drag this way. Okay. Build our labs. So again, not much magic here. You're literally building every single part of the blueprint you see. I made a mistake with my labs. This is a good example. The labs have modules in them. If I copy and paste this, it'll keep the modules from the copy paste. If I just Q click it and paste it, it will not. So copy one with modules and paste it or stamp the entire blueprint again, place it. Just make sure that if a building has modules in it, it keeps those modules. Make sense? And ordering here, like, people, I think, get a little too picky about the order that they build stuff. Build it all the fastest way you can. Getting a few labs running sooner does not really matter, because this is not backed up. So just get it all built. Okay, we're going to pretend that we're doing a real run right now, and you are panicking about Gotlap. You have 16 minutes left. The first thing we're going to try to research is the train. So, yeah, Derek, logistics, uh, engines, train. We're going to go for Gotlap as fast as we can. 